Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Breath of Fire 2. And uh, we're going to, uh, since on the last episode we opened up more buildings in our brand new town, uh, we're actually going to exploit uh, a little. I wouldn't call it cheating because the game easily makes, allows you to do this if you pick the right people. Uh, but it's essentially going to be a trick that allows us to essentially have infinite money. Just a little bit of patience involves infinite money. I mean, technically we could have done that with uh, fishing, but that takes far too long. Um, so that, that gentleman up there that I just talked to, uh, he is an item shop dealer. And he has moved to our town. In the, uh, I think the fifth out of the six buildings. So that crosses him off our list of uh, guys we need to grab. But uh, we're actually going to run back to our town just so I can show off what, how to do this. It's actually quite, quite easy. As long as you pick the correct things. Um, meaning him. And uh, the correct carpenter, which allowed us to build the kitchen area. So once I get through these things, it should be okay. So if you ever play this game, I don't know if it works on the Game Boy Advance version. I don't know how many changes they made on that game. I'm assuming, based on the brief time I looked at it, that not really many changes have happened. So, you know, try it on this one. But our uh, building 4, 5, and 6 are the ones on the bottom. So he went into shop 5, so here he is. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, in the real... in the... Uh, Original translation, these are called like condition ups. And this one is called turbocharged. So we're actually going to buy all like nine of these. And what you do is you just run. You never have to leave town. That's the best part. Run right up here to this guy who will cook your ingredients. So scroll down. Take the bottom three. One, two, three. Cook them. So run over there, spin a little, come back. And she gives us a gold brick. Which, uh, the ingredients cost three grand. The gold brick sells for six. So essentially, you can just keep doing this, and eventually, you'll have plenty of money. So, from now on, this will be done in between episodes whenever I need money so that we can buy all the uh, strongest equipment we can get without worry. And this takes a lot of the grinding out of the game. A lot of, the, a lot of this game was just money grinding. Uh, experience grinding I can do pretty easily. Uh, I will show you a, a good place to do that. But, uh, this isn't the last time we use the cooking thing to really break the game open. This is just one of the many ways. Which is why that uh, building set is the best you can get. Nothing really compares. Um, so yeah, you could keep doing that over and over. I'm just gonna stop here because this episode is not just about watching me cook. but. Later on, you hit a town that sells uh, specific items uh, that are, you can use to have spells. Like, uh, like I, for example, there's one called Frisbee. I don't know what it's called in this one, but it was called Frisbee. And you use it, and it's like a free lightning bolt item. Which, I think, ignores magic defense. So things that would... You know, you use spells on it, it would hit 1 or 0. If you use that, it'll still hit the, like, the 40 or the 50 that it's supposed to. Which uh, comes in handy when you fight uh, in a certain place. Again, I will show you. It's the same place that I level. So that'll come into play later. But, you can use those items to cook uh, with various things that uh, the guy I just put into the town sells. 
and you can get um, stat boosting items, like strength ups, wisdom ups, like permanent stat boosts. So you keep using the money cheat. I mean, I'm not the really cheat, but I'm gonna call it that. Use the money exploit. How's that? And you keep making those things. And suddenly you have super powered characters for really not much work. Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to use that within reason. Um, the last fights, no matter how much you do, are still going to give you a rough time. So it feels like the game is almost kind of saying, like, "Hey, you should do this." If you can find the, uh, you can find the recipes for it. But very useful stuff, and it will cut down how much time I have to spend in between episodes grinding cash. So, very, uh, very thankful of that. But, uh, there is one other ingredient seller that I need to pick up to make this all work. Uh, because the, uh, the item magic that I was talking about is only kind of half the picture. The other half is fish. And granted, I could go and, like, all these different fishing spots, you know, fish up my ingredients, yada yada. But there's a fish salesman that you can put in your town that will sell all the stuff to you. So you never have to leave town to make all these items, to make all this cash. And you can pretty much walk into town one day, you know, a week, and walk out with, you know, greatly increased strength and superpowers, and lots of money. So, if you know what you're doing in the town, and what people to put in, it becomes invaluable. If you don't, you'll put a bunch of useless people in there, which I did. First time I played it, and then it's useless. <laughs> it's useless town. And that is the, the the trick of this game. It seems like there's one person you can put in town that is very useful to you, and then the others are just like, mm, I can change the uh, the color of your window, or I can make you immune to poison once, or I could just steal all your money. Yeah, there's a guy you could steal all your money. But the thing is, you just have to know where these people are. <laughs> Please break out. Let me open my own fishmonger in your beautiful town. I may long last fulfill my lifelong dream. <laughs> Alright, so that's our fish salesman. He's gonna sell us the ingredients to our power ups later. The last guy we want to get, I think, is another weapon salesman. Uh, but we cannot get him yet. He's in a town that we cannot reach. So when that opens up to us, I will let us know. So, our escapade into building our town has uh, finished for now. So our next step is to go all the way back to our current task, which is uh, used to be called Simafor. I don't know what it's called now. I think it's like a big log French name now, next to the translation. Uh, but it's our next stop. It's a uh, it's it, Tapeta's uh, kingdom, I guess. Kingdom, Frog Kingdom. That's where we're headed. Let's we can get past these guys. Actually, I'm not using this. I was all hopping up on talking about the town building and uh, interrupting about the frog. It happens frequently. I do not really care much for the frog character. Any time now. I think one thing that I do boost up when I have the chance is speed. I do like to go faster than the enemies. 
I do feel that uh, there's one point in the game that uh, I, I probably mentioned earlier. There's a part in the game that Sten has to go alone for a little while, and if you're not sufficiently leveled up with Sten, it becomes a nightmare to the point where you have to start over because you weren't ready for it. It kind of locks you in, too. I think right before I hit that part, I will jack up his stats so that that part is uh, far less painful. Because, believe you me, it will be painful. It will be painful. Not to watch, I hope, but to experience, to play through. Luckily, there's no part that I have to fight with Jean alone, or Tapeta. Otherwise, I'd probably quit this game. I think there was one part you have to do with Jean alone. It's, it's a fun part, though. Let's rest at the end. Across the boat. I think there's a way to, um, I'll try it later. I think this, you don't even have to take the boat anymore. I think you can hop over. I kind of want to try it. I may be wrong. Haha, <laughs> I was right. You don't even have to take the boat anymore. The problem is you get stuck. There we go. We don't want to go there yet. We actually want to go this way. Because there's one more side quest we had to accomplish. I made mention of it at the end of the last episode. But I came across um, what I wanted to do with uh, the town, so I decided to do that. Get that out of the way. Right here starts the final side quest before the main mission starts. Again. Just this region, I guess, is just rife with side quests. I don't know. And it involves this cave. Actually, I, uh, before I do this, I apologize for the time wasting. I better say it, because the various guides that I've read, oh yes, I've read guides back in the day, now, all sorts of times. I mean, this game is very old. I played it as a kid, so I may forget things, and I don't want to sour the experience through inexperience, but, uh, I don't remember if the next part I have to follow the directions or I can ignore them. I know I ignored them when I had to do it for the quest, but I never went here earlier. And apparently going earlier is what gives you the, uh, extra stuff, so... Customers may leave their equipment and possessions here. Forget it. Alright, um, guess I'll have to do it. Do it. Get an unforgettable dining experience. So I took away all our items. We still have our weapons and armor, though, thank you. Please leave your hats and headgear. No. You have not followed protocol. Are you here or not? I'll go back to the entrance and follow the steps this time. 
pretty sure you can do it so you don't have to do it. There we go. Keep the guard down. Just buffed it. Now, the thing is, you don't want to leave your weapons in armor because you do have to fight a boss at the end. And, uh, you know, you don't want to be punching the guy, you want to be swinging your sword. Alright, not hard. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's like, you know, leave your leave your hats, no, fight. Leave your armor, no, fight. And I think it's like, you know, leave your shields and pick up a plate, no, fight. <laughs> like, you're supposed to do this for a quest, for the main quest, later on. But... If you, I think if you get away, get through it now instead of later, you uh, you gain a skill. That's why I'm here. But anyway, that's a longer than longer than usual episode. So on the next episode, we will continue into this place. And we will seal our extra skill, I guess, and then uh, we'll head to the center of the lake and to that castle and to the next area. So hope you join me for that. My name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.